Hello and welcome back to the Watchman channel. Thank you for joining me, friend. Let's get to this word from our brother Garris Elkins from Medford, Oregon. The head and not the tail. When God calls us to obedience, he offers both the blessings of our obedience and the consequences of our disobedience. The determining factor is always our willingness to obey his voice. Moses detailed for Israel the blessings that would visit the nation if they remained faithful to him. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he has given you. Deuteronomy 28.8 Obedience opens the door for the blessings of God if the people of God remain faithful to him. There is a repositioning that happens with our obedience. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today, if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You will always be on top, never at the bottom. Becoming the head and not the tail will put us in a place where the fulfilled promises of God in our lives will become a witness to the world of his faithfulness. But there is an opposite outcome regarding our disobedience to the Lord when we are doing evil and abandoning me, as it speaks about in verse 20. We will be repositioned by our disobedience. What opposes the will of God will become the head, and you will be the tail. Verse 44. In the United States, we can overly we can become overly confident in our national defense or our financial security. We can begin to think walls of security erected around us will protect us, and we continue to live in disobedience. As a result of that naive self-confidence, we will be led to a place of jeopardy. That jeopardy, it's happening now. As a result, the enemy of your soul will attack cities until all the fortified walls of your land, the walls you trusted to protect you, until they are knocked down. Verse 52. What should have been placed in submission to us will begin to lead us. When this happens, a sad epitaph will be written on the line of our national history, defining the reason for our demise. Because you would not listen to the Lord your God. Verse 62. Lord Jesus, we pray into this word. Lord, may it not be unto us according to this word. Lord, may no sad epitaphs. May we not lose the peace and the blessing that we've had from you, Father. May we continue to walk in obedience to you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for giving us the option. Blessing and cursing, life and death. Lord, you even gave us the answer, choose life. Lord, we want to do that. We don't want to put our trust in horses and chariots. We don't want to put our trust in walls and and financial security, but we want to put our trust in the name of the Lord Most High. Lord, we want to be obedient quickly. When you ask us to do a thing, we want to do it. When you ask us to let go or speak or remain quiet. Lord, help us not find ourselves in a place of great jeopardy, and when we do, Lord, help us to move quickly back into your will, back into your promises. Lord, we pray that right now over our nation. I claim it for my nation. I claim it for my friend's nation. Lord Jesus, that we would not succumb to disobedience, a naive self-confidence, as our brother Garris mentions. But Lord, that we would trust in you, believing that because of Jesus, we are the head and not the tail. In your mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.